Hey folks, I'm Jaden with Fanatic Bike Company. I've got Brian here with me. We've got our hands on Evil's brand new bike, the Calling. As you can see, the Calling looks a lot like all of Evil's other bikes, uh, but there is a few things about this bike that kind of make it stand out from the other bikes in the Evil lineup um, that have us pretty excited. So, before we dive into all those details, we're going to uh, go get this thing dirty. So I've been a long time rider of Evil Bikes. Um, I've ridden all the, ridden and owned all the newer bikes, including the uh, Following, the Insurgent, and the Reckoning. Um, but Brian, you're a little bit more of a newcomer to the Evil game. Um, what were your first impressions on the Calling? Uh, you know, it uh, it was a really fun bike. I mean, it uh, I'm used to single pivot. I enjoy riding single pivot. Um, it felt very flickable and fun and playful on the trail. Um, and it also felt very stuck to the ground over rough sections. I felt comfortable getting into the steep stuff and with some roots and kind of when it got a little bit more ruddy. Yeah, definitely. Um, so there's no secret, this bike has a new tire standard, uh, 26 plus. What can you tell us about that? Uh, so 26 plus is pretty new to the game. Um, they still don't have a ton of tire sizes and rim options yet, but it is coming in in full force. Um, kind of the thought process behind that is um, to get away from some of the downfalls of the 27.5 plus. Um, the bigger tire uh, diameter with the 27.5 plus uh, gets you closer to 29 inch wheels, which um, are kind of known for not being as flickable and maneuverable on the trail. Um, the 26 plus tire will get you down to closer to a 27 and a half, which will be a little bit more agile on the trail, a little bit more fun while you still kind of have the um, the good things of the plus size tire and the traction and all that when it gets a little bit more mucky outside. Right. Good. Um, some of the people that um, they kind of want to stay away from the plus size tire, people are riding a little bit more aggressively. We've kind of found that you have to run the higher tire pressure um, if you're running a plus size tire, which kind of negates the things that are you're really going for with a plus size tire. Yeah, I guess it's important to note we have this bike built up with 27.5 by 2.5 tires, which is the pretty much the max size you're going to want to run on this bike for 27.5. Uh, if you're going 26 plus, you can go up to 2.8. Um, 
Now there's also another new standard on this bike, and that is metric shock sizing, which uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of. Yep. Um, there's a lot of benefits to the size. It's not really just you know kind of another standard thrown out there for the heck of it. There actually is quite a lot of research and development behind it, and it's really going to open up um, a lot more uh, versatility and frame design. Um, what we're looking at here is a metric shock with a trunnion upper mount. Uh, the trunnion basically means the right up towards the top of the shock you'll notice there's not a standard kind of DU bushing and mounting style. What right. it is instead is rolling on bearings that bolt directly into the top of the shock. So essentially what you're able to do is get a longer eye to eye and a longer stroke um, in a smaller amount of space. Give you a little bit better leverage ratio. Yep. So you'll be able to, you know, keep all the weight a lot lower in the frame, keep the top tubes a little bit more low slung. Um, all of those are right. definitely traits of evil bikes and this one included. Yeah. And uh, the bearing up there kind of helps with uh, the stiction in the shock, which I definitely felt while I was riding it. Yeah, yeah, there is very little stiction. Uh, this is the Super Deluxe, so it's basically the top of the line um, RockShock model that's going to be coming in metric sizing. Um, again, super, super low stiction right off the top. Yeah. Overall, it's probably, I'd say both of us would say it's one of the best uh, RockShock rear shocks yeah. that we've ridden. Um, I'd say that definitely adds to the bike feeling planted on the ground a little bit better in the Chundri areas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's the uh, Evil Calling in a nutshell. Um, check out our website, give us a call, look at our bike builder. We got all sorts of uh, build options for this. You'll be seeing 26 plus options coming as soon as uh, they're available. And thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks guys.